in 1975. The dam called Bangkiao had collapsed in China and it unleashed a tsunami-like wave, swallowing entire towns and claiming over 170,000 lives. But what if a far larger disaster loomed? Imagine a structure so colossal that its failure could drown entire nations, displace half a billion people, and rewrite the map of continents. This isn't a Hollywood script. It's a chilling possibility tied to the world's largest dam. And we are talking about the Three Gorges Dam of China. Before we begin, this is one of the most propagandized topics on YouTube. There are hundreds of videos where people are saying that the dam will collapse in a month or even in any given day. And this slander has been going on since the construction of the dam. It would have collapsed probably a million times by now if they were all correct. But we will try to be as objective as possible and assess the risks. Because if a China and Taiwan war breaks out, the Three Gorges Dam can be a target and significantly damage China. It's like a nuclear bomb of Taiwan. Let's start with the Leviathan itself. The Three Gorges Dam in China stretches 2.3 kilometers long, towers 181 meters high, and holds back 42 billion tons of water, enough to fill 16 million Olympic swimming pools. The Three Gorges Dam stands like the colossal titan itself, an unmistakable wall between humanity and catastrophe. Built to tame the Yangtze River, it powers 22,500 megawatts of electricity, equivalent to 15 nuclear reactors. Yet, this marvel of human ambition has a dark side. Its collapse could unleash a wall of water 100 meters tall, surging downstream at 100 kilometers per hour, obliterating cities like Wuhan and Shanghai within hours. But let's first briefly talk about how do dams like this even work. Think of a dam as a colossal plug. Its weight pins it to the riverbed, while its curved shape like a bow deflects water pressure outward into the canyon walls. Modern dams use reinforced concrete, steel, and sensors to monitor stress, but even the mightiest plug can fail. And when it does, the math is terrifying. The energy stored in 42 billion tons of water is roughly 100 times the Hiroshima atomic bomb. In fact, the Three Gorges Dam is so massive that when the reservoir was filled, it literally slowed the rotation of the Earth by a tiny but measurable amount. That's 39 trillion kilograms of water held back by human engineering. For comparison, the Bengkiao Dam failure released just 1.6 billion cubic meters of water. The Three Gorges Reservoir contains 26 times that volume. The scale is almost incomprehensible. History warns us that no dam is invincible. Take the 1928 St. Francis Dam disaster. Poorly designed and built on unstable rock, it collapsed just hours after an engineer reassured everyone it was safe. The resulting flood killed 600 people and washed bodies 80 kilometers out to sea. These dam failures echo the fall of Walmaria, sudden, devastating, and leaving no time for evacuation. Fast forward to 2018, when Laos Sapientia Namnoi Dam, built on weak karst limestone, crumbled during heavy rains, displacing 7,000 people. These tragedies share a common thread. Human error, sooner or later, meets natural fury. But the Three Gorges faces unique risks. Since its completion in 2006, the dam has already caused 400,000 landslides due to the massive weight of its reservoir pressing on fault lines. Add China's frequent earthquakes like the 2008 Sichuan quake that killed 87,000, and you have a ticking time bomb. Even a magnitude 7.0 tremor could fracture the dam's foundation, triggering a domino effect of structural failures. 
The massive weight of the reservoir has been linked to increased seismic activity through a process known as reservoir-induced seismicity. Since the reservoir was filled, the region has experienced over 3,000 earthquakes, most minor, but each one potentially weakening the dam's integrity. During construction in 1998, several cracks were discovered in the dam foundation, and in 2003, just before the reservoir began filling, Chinese hydrologist Huang Wangli publicly criticized the dam's design, particularly regarding sedimentation issues. Well, it's a communist country and he was promptly silenced. Let's hypothetically break down the collapse step by step. First, the trigger. Maybe an earthquake, maybe record rainfall, or even sabotage. Once a crack forms, water infiltrates like a knife through butter. Concrete erodes, steel reinforcements snap, and suddenly the dam's spine gives way. The reservoir transforms into a liquid avalanche. Within minutes, downstream towns vanish. Survivors? They'd have less warning than a TikTok trend. But the chaos doesn't stop there. The Yangtze Delta, home to 500 million people and 40% of China's GDP, would drown under 10 meters of water. The flooding would be so catastrophic, it would make the Aqua Laguna of Water 7 look like a gentle tide. Imagine New York, Tokyo, and Mumbai sinking simultaneously. The economic fallout? $10 trillion lost enough to buy Amazon, Apple, and Google combined. And ecologically, the Yangtze's delicate ecosystem, including the critically endangered finless porpoise, would face extinction. Yichang, just 40 kilometers downstream with a population of 4 million, would have less than 30 minutes of warning. Wuhan, with 11 million people, would be largely underwater within six hours. The impact wouldn't stop at China's borders. Such a catastrophe would trigger global economic collapse. The Yangtze River economic belt accounts for almost 50% of China's economic output, housing countless factories that produce everything from electronics to pharmaceuticals. A 2017 study by the University of Zurich found that just 20% disruption to China's exports would trigger severe global supply chain failure affecting every continent. Why aren't dams foolproof in the first place? Blame the glass jaw of material science. Concrete, while strong under compression, cracks under tension, and steel eventually corrodes. Sediment buildup like in the Three Gorges weakens the dam's base. And let's not forget climate change. Heavier rains and rising river flows strain aging infrastructure. There's also the reservoir-induced seismicity paradox. The weight of the water itself can trigger earthquakes. It's like stacking books on a wobbly table. Eventually, the legs buckle. Even with modern tech, monitoring 2.3 kilometers of concrete in real time is like babysitting a sleeping dragon. One missed sensor alert and boom. Dam failures typically result from one of three causes, overtopping foundation defects or structural failures. Overtopping occurs when water flows over the dam's crest, eroding it from above. Foundation defects involve water seeping under the dam, weakening its base. Structural failures happen when the dam itself cracks or shifts due to pressure, poor construction, or external forces like earthquakes. Then there's the issue of sedimentation. The Yangtze River carries approximately 530 million tons of sediment annually. While the dam was designed to trap much of the sediment, the accumulation rate has been higher than expected. This buildup increases pressure on the dam and reduces its storage capacity. In 2020, the dam experienced its largest flood peak since completion, with inflow reaching 75,000 cubic meters per second. That's roughly the volume of 30 Olympic swimming pools every second. During this flood, satellite images showed concerning deformation in the dam structure. Almost everybody fell for it and pushed the false narrative because it's an optical distortion common in satellite imagery. There is wishful thinking among certain people who hate China, and they want this dam to collapse, millions to die, and wreck the global economy. Sure, hating the centralized dictatorial government is one thing. It's understandable, 
but wishing millions to lose lives and homes is evil. So are we doomed? Not quite. Engineers have lifelines. First, stress relief tunnels divert excess water during floods. Second, AI-powered drones scan for cracks with laser precision. Third, countries like Norway are experimenting with floating dams that flex with seismic waves. But the ultimate fix? Decentralization. Instead of mega dams, smaller hydro projects and solar farms reduce reliance on single points of failure. But sooner or later, everything goes down. Every single dam all around the world goes down, either premeditated and controlled way or catastrophically. Yet, politics often trumps pragmatism. Mega dams symbolize national pride and power. Demolishing the Three Gorges is unthinkable for China, like the US tearing down the Statue of Liberty. So we're stuck in a catch-22. The dam is both a lifeline and a death sentence. Of course, the Chinese government insists the dam is completely safe, designed to withstand a once in 10,000 years flood and magnitude 7.0 earthquakes. They've invested billions in monitoring systems and regular safety inspections. Climate change introduces another variable. The Yangtze River Basin has experienced increasingly extreme weather patterns, with the 2020 floods being among the worst in decades. As global temperatures rise, glacial melt in the Tibet Tibetan Plateau, the source of the Yangtze, accelerates, potentially increasing both water volume and sedimentation. The Three Gorges Dam embodies humanity's Faustian bargain with nature. We harness immense power, but at the risk of unimaginable destruction. Not everything anti-China personalities, no China haters or China lovers can't deny the Three Gorges Dam is undoubtedly and absolutely one of the wonders of the modern world. And this is an engineering marvel, props to China pulling it off. So what's the likelihood of failure? Most experts put the probability extremely low, perhaps 0.01% in any given year, but that small percentage carries catastrophic consequences. It's like a lottery no one wants to win, but 500 million people are forced to play every day. History has shown us repeatedly that structures once deemed unsinkable or indestructible can fail. The Titanic sank, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed, the Bankau Dam failed. Hubris in engineering has a long and tragic history. Is the Three Gorges Dam destined to join this list of catastrophic failures? Probably not, but the stakes are so high that even a fraction of a percent risk deserves our attention. What do you think? Should we build bigger or smarter? Can technology outpace nature's wrath? Drop your thoughts below and if you'd sprint faster than a damn burst, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay curious.